has been your biggest concern during this whole process? Yeah, I think through the whole process it has been about information and making sure that we've got the right information to make good decisions. It's an emergency, um, so we don't have, you know, it's by definition, we don't have a full picture of everything that's going on. So, um, you know, making good decisions based on the right information and making sure that everybody gets, um, you know, gets the help that they need um, um, is really important to us. And reflecting back on those decisions that have been made, do you think you did get it right? As, as a sort of management group and that most of the time? I think most of the time. I mean, we will go through, there will be a review process. Yeah. Um, we're still in the response, so that will come and that will, you know, this is a learning system. The only way that this system can, can progress yeah. and, and do better is to learn. Um, and as part of a learning system, you have to actually acknowledge your mistakes um, and you have to learn from them and you have to have a culture of actually people putting their hand up. So I think that's the way that we like to operate and so that's why I'm saying, well, from my perspective anyway, uh, we want to have a review. It has to be open and transparent. Uh, people have to have the ability to have input into it um, and we'll learn from any mistakes that were made and make the process better next time. Do you think there were any mis mistakes made? Oh, undoubtedly we will find some out, but as I said, um, we haven't gone through that process yeah. yet. Now, did you expect, looking back, did you expect this to be as bad a situation as it turned out to be? No, so, I mean, the forecast um, was not as bad. The impacts from that forecast, um, it wasn't as bad as what we received. Uh, and I think the Regional Council's done a bit of work around um, rainfall totals and, and, and the such like. Uh, this was um, really well beyond, I think, what was forecast. Uh, and. Um, you know, we'd prepared for that event, we had prepared for that, we'd put in place the messaging, um, we'd organisations were standing up, um, we had people who were stood up over the weekend, working over the weekend, um, but what we received was far greater than what was forecast. Yeah. Were you here at the beginning? Or were you no, so I was actually out of the region, yeah. um, I was actually tramping in the South Island at the time. Oh, wow. um, but when I left on the Thursday before, um, you know, the forecast, it wasn't that bad. You know, we were going to have some impacts, but it wouldn't have been what we, what we received. And so for me, um, on the Monday morning, uh, sorry, the, the Tuesday morning, um, when I sort of became aware of that, I was trying to get, get back to Hawke's Bay, yeah. got as far as Wellington. I spent the Monday in the National Coordination Centre underneath the bee Beehive, basically uh, working um, as best I could for Hawke's Bay and yeah. within that construct um, and then I managed to catch a flight first thing on the Wednesday morning and I was in here by, by about Wednesday lunchtime. Oh that's good that you're able to get back because that in itself it was shows first that, flight back. <laughs> it shows that you, uh, it was worse than you all expected. Yeah, 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 both yeah, definitely. Yeah. And um, j just in terms of um, are there any processes that can be put in place or changes and I know you're going to have a review in there mm. but just easy things that you can think of now that could make things a bit better? Yeah, um, I think some of our, um, I, look, look I, don't, I don't think there's, I mean, I don't think there's anything that sticks out hugely at the moment, but, it, but of course this was a disaster that, um, that it's at a level that is well beyond um, our ability to really plan for as a region and so bringing in all the national resources. So I think uh, in terms of as a sector, and this is right across New Zealand, how we actually um, respond as a national system to these sorts of events and how that interface works with the regional level, I think there's, you know, we can do better in that space, I think. Because uh, what always comes home to me is that uh, the Risington Bridge was um, upgraded a while back to a one in 500 year yeah, sure. event, and it's like, it didn't yeah, even... Yeah. Yeah. Didn't even withstand that. That's right, and and so um, I think our risk, our long-term risk reduction, is a, is actually of concern. Yeah. Um, so uh, I I think we need to stop stop developing in hazard zones. Uh, that's that's my message. Um, obviously, I'm not the decision maker on those sorts of things, but uh, you know, we um, in in Hawkes Bay we have a number of hazards which intersect. Um, you know, everything from tsunami, earthquake. Uh, to, to flooding, um, and where those uh, hazards intersect, you've got to ask yourself the question: Why are we allowing for people to build, put infrastructure in those places? 
but as I said, not my decision, but um, definitely we advocate for that. But if you had your way, no building houses in flood zones, uh, be taking care with where roads are. Yeah, as well. I wouldn't say no building in flood zones. I think that there are every every case needs to be treated on its own merits. Uh, but I think we definitely need to be aware of um, things like uh, climate change and, and that hazard is going to only increase over time. So we need to make sure that we're actually doing things for the future. So we need to be thinking out to future generations uh, what's Hawke's Bay going to look like in another 100 years if we have um, you know, close to two metres worth of sea level rise? Um, and what's that going to do to our flood zones and our yeah. tsunami zones as well? So. Uh, so I think um, we just need to take a long-term view of these things and, uh, you know, where we can mitigate the hazard, um, you know, that's fine. Uh, but there's always the risk and, and like, we, we, we have good stop bank systems here in Hawke's Bay. Um, they've, been, they've been here for a long time, there's been a lot of development in behind those stop banks, but those stop banks have failed um, in some places. Uh, so. I think that um, we need to make sure that when we put in place mitigation that when you know the events of another hundred years time will those stop banks that we build now probably um, will they still be able to um, to provide a level of protection um, to those new houses and things that are built in behind them because yeah. this was sort of a river generated flood rather than sea yep. so the coastal areas weren't that affected it was more rivers breaking yep. the bank. I mean, you could have a scenario where both happens. How, yep. do, you, how do you even prepare for that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, we 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 prepare as best we can for yeah. events such as this. At the end of the day, though, I always talk to my staff and and talk to to the councils as well. Is it's about relationships. Yeah. So if you've got strong relationships with the emergency services, strong relationships between the councils and other central government agencies. When you're dealing with a catastrophic event such as this, um, that you actually are able to adjust and make decisions quickly, um, given the circumstances, because you trust each other, you have the relationships in place. And I think this ex this response was a good example of that. I think the relationships that we have with Hawke's Bay Emergency Services in particular, you know, we're always in, in the readiness phase. We're working with them consistently on this stuff. The councils are, have really got got quite a strong. Um, councils don't always agree with somebody with with each other, but in terms of uh, in terms of um, civil defence, you know the the five councils are pretty strongly aligned, uh, and so the relationships were strong. So we were able to stand up a response and adjust it quickly to the circumstances that we were faced with as the information came in, uh, and people trusted each other to get on and do the job.